Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner, and on Monday I'm covering more updates to the White House email breach. Now you probably remember this story I've covered in videos for the past couple weeks. A while back, the White House's unclassified network was breached, and alleged Russian attackers gained access to these unclassified emails. Later we learned that some of those unclassified emails included things like President Obama's schedule, and that the attack probably happened because of spear phishing emails to the State Department, and then a State Department victim's email address was used to send more spear phishing emails to the White House, which ultimately allowed the bad guys to get malware on this unclassified system. According to a New York Times article, officials are saying this breach is more significant than they first led us to believe. While the attackers did only have access to an unclassified email system on the White House network, this included emails to folks on that unclassified system that interacted with Obama. This means the threat actors inadvertently had access to Obama's replies on this unclassified network. And these replies could contain things like his schedule, uh, email correspondence with external diplomats, uh, comments on the latest speech he was giving, and even things about policy and sensitive information like that. And this type of attack kind of perfectly illustrates a chain of trust attack. There's situations where an attacker can't directly access his highly secure victim, in this case President Obama. Obama. But if the attacker can go after a softer target that interacts with his victim, for instance folks using this unclassified network, they can still gain significant intelligence that might help them in future attacks. So what can we learn from this White House breach? Well first of all it seems spear phishing is probably how the attack first got into the State Department and later the White House. So before anything you really want to make sure your users are ready for spear phishing. These are more targeted customized emails that get to know a victim before sending them some sort of email message that seems to pertain to them. Make sure your users are aware of this attack tactic and spend some time trying to validate emails before interacting with links or documents. On top of that, this shows the value of segmenting your network. In this case, the White House had both a classified and unclassified system. And it's important to know the attackers do not have access to Obama's email. They don't have access to his BlackBerry. They they only have access to archives on this unclassified uh, system, which might include some replies from Obama. Now that does show you the implication of chains of trust. If you uh, trust people on an unclassified system, you might lose some information to attackers that gain access to that. But it does show you value in segmenting your networks to make it a lot harder for attackers to really get to your encrypted system. And finally, you really need to think about email encryption in this day and age, especially for sensitive data documents. Now there's everyday emails we shoot off that may not be important even if a bad guy gained access to them. But there are more sensitive materials, materials that I'm sure the White House and the Pentagon and the US government do encrypt. In your business, if you share any sensitive information in email, you need to realize that it's going to go over clear text in many networks. If you send it to an outside partner, there's going to be a copy of your email sitting in someone else's network. So if something's really important to you, you to keep it a secret, definitely think about encrypting that email. There are systems nowadays, including ones WatchGuard sells with our XCS appliance, that can make email encryption a lot easier for you to handle. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thanks for watching.